There are basically three distinct categories of Cameroonians that I have encountered both in the real world and online. By the end of this video, you will drop a comment below as to which category you belong to. The Greeks used this analogy to describe the three different kinds of human beings you will encounter in every given society. Roland Fru, founder of CSDP Cameroon Sustainable Development Project. You have taught us the true meaning of hard work and determination. You have taught us how to believe in ourselves. You are one of the prize, the lives of the youth of Cameroon. You are an inspiration to our generation. We love you, Mr. Roland. What change starts when we know and embrace our history. Number one is an idiot. When the Greeks referred to you as an idiot, it was not an insult. It was not that you are mentally deficient. An idiot is someone that cares just about themselves. They are selfish, self-centered, narcissistic, and have little knowledge about the political situation in their country and contribute less to the well-being of their nation. That is an idiot. I have encountered multiple Cameroonians who fall under this category of an idiot. When you are given money as a state official to build roads, build schools, help elevate your people out of the conditions that they find themselves in, and you take that money and you save it in a private account in a foreign country, you are an idiot. When you pick up guns to destroy the properties of your fellow citizens, take their life, throw peelings of banana on the side of the road, care less about the well being of your community, you are an idiot. When someone rises up to say, let's change our conditions, and you tell them, keep quiet, you are an idiot. You care less about your community. You care less about your country. You are self-centered. You're selfish. You're a narcissist. You are an idiot. The second category is the tribesmen. Pay attention now. The tribesmen are individuals who think only within the confines of their group. They think only within the confines of their socio-economic group. Group thinking. When you look at yourself more as a Francophone than a Cameroonian, you are a tribesman. When you look at yourself more as an Anglophone than a Cameroonian, you are a tribesman. When the Greeks were talking about tribes, they were not just referring to the village that you come from. They were referring to a certain way of thinking within that society. You prioritize your tribe over the nation. When you call yourself an Amazonian more than you are a Cameroonian, you are a tribesman. We are coming from a culture where the colonial masters designed the nations where we find ourselves in. I agree. Life dealt us a wrong hand. I agree. But when you look at what life has given you, and you can't think to the dimension of making something out of what you have been given, and all you're thinking about is to destroy the lives of those around you by boxing yourself in a particular group, thinking just within that group, acting within that group. People who are tribesmen are afraid of new ideas. If they welcome new ideas, they feel like they are betraying that group. They are betraying their tribe. For the tribesmen, based on how the Greeks look at it, 
their idea of a great man is a warrior. Yeah, that's how tribes people think because they think in this form of a group. Their idea of an ideal person is the hero, the warrior, the individual that will go out there and fight, engage in a war. That is an ideal human being for a tribe's man. The last category that the Greeks describe is a citizen. A citizen is someone who knows their right and knows their duty as a citizen of a nation. They are informed, they are educated, they know what needs to be done, they know when to stand up for their rights, they know exactly what to do without violating the rights of others. They take into consideration every citizen within that nation when they are acting. They are those type of individuals that will stand up to you even if you're throwing a pinning of bananas on the side of the road. They are those citizens. They don't hold any position in the government. But they understand their rights and their duty as citizens of a given nation. Those are the category of individuals that the Greek describe that build a civilized society. We have less than 5% of Cameroonians who are actually citizens. We have a lot of idiots and we have a lot of tribes men. And the Greeks thought that in order to build a civilized, we can only hear about civilized because those who live in a civilized society, they understand that the way you solve your differences or the way you resolve conflict is through communication, through dialogue, civil, as that word says it, civil, citizen. Our goal in this generation is to raise citizens in Cameroon. Most of the nations in Africa have idiots and tribesmen. That is why we find ourselves in the condition that we are today. Because we have a lot of tribesmen and we have a lot of idiots. Life has given us what we have right now. The kind of nation we have, the kind of president we have, the kind of government we have, the conditions that we are dealing with. But at the end of the day, we have the power to change circumstances. But the only way we can do so is if we have citizens. Those who care about the nation. Those who have the nation at heart. Those who genuinely care about one another within a given society, within a nation. I want to ask you a question. Where do you belong? Are you an idiot? Are you a tribesman? Or are you a citizen? I would love to see you type below who you are. Our organization, CSDB, the Cameroon Sustainable Development Project, is aimed at raising citizens in this country. Citizens. Not tribesmen, not idiots. Citizens. Citizens who are willing to put their feet in the shoes of everyone within the nation and have perspective about our given condition, what we are going through. Citizens don't act based on emotion. They act based on information. That is the distinction. Citizens make books their friends. Citizens learn from history and have perspective and navigate current circumstances based on the information that they have derived from books and let that information guide them. Tribesmen act based on sentiment and emotion. Idiots don't really care. It's not about PhD. It's not about you having a degree. It's not about you having a doctor behind your name. Are you an idiot? Because we have a lot of individuals with doctorate degrees who are idiots. We have a lot of them who are tribesmen. Are you a citizen? 
you were born in Cameroon, you have the power to change the conditions in this country. Whether you are an Anglophone, a Francophone, whatever label you've given yourself, you have the duty and responsibility to transform your country. The first step is to have consciousness as to what citizenship is all about. That is step one. CSDP aims to train 3,000 Cameroonians in the seven industries that are transforming the global economy. Agriculture, tech, finance, healthcare, renewable energy, real estate and construction, the media and entertainment. These seven industries are transforming the global economy. If we can train 3,000 Cameroonians in those industries, they will go on to create jobs, create businesses that will transform our entire economy in the next 20 years. We can move our GDP from 43 billion US dollars to 1 trillion US dollars in the private sector. 90% of the jobs in America is created in the private sector because these individuals understand what it means to be a citizen of a country. And we can model this and change our conditions in spite of who is president. No government in the world has created the kind of life that is desirable to its citizens. Those citizens rise up and create the kind of life that they want for themselves and their fellow citizens. That is what we are advocating for. Maybe many people don't understand. They think maybe this is just an ordinary, uh, maybe NGO that is aimed at rescuing IDPs. No, we are bigger than that. This is the industrial revolution of Cameroon that we are launching here. We have an institution, Nation Builders University. It is free for every Cameroonian. Enroll and start studying, start making books, your friends. This is where transformation starts. Develop the leadership skills that you need. Develop the business IQ that you need to go out there and take over the world. We are not backing down. This is what it takes to build a great nation. And after understanding this, there is nothing that can stop us because knowledge is light. I will end by saying, Forty-two percent of our country is made up of individuals who are zero to forty. Forty-two percent, almost half of the nation, is made up of young individuals, zero to forty. Seventy-five percent of the country is made up of individuals who are forty and below. We can't fold our arms and wait for government to fix this. These old folks will soon pass on. And if we do nothing in the next 20 years, our conditions will remain the same. And we will look for the next person to blame. You have the power to bring about that change that you desire in your country. Our mission is bigger than the current government that you see. Our mission is bigger than any socioeconomic discrepancies that we are facing right now. Our mission is bigger than that. So I, I thought I'd take this time to educate us, to awaken us to the reality that we are dealing with and ask yourself that question again. Are you an idiot? Are you a tribesman? Or are you a citizen? This is a clarion call this is a wake up call. This is a call of duty. We are nation builders and we believe that great people make a great nation and not the other way around. We believe in peace, unity, freedom, prosperity for all Cameroonians. It starts with you. Yes, you watching me right now. Saying yes, I am a Cameroonian. 
and I am a citizen of this nation. And it is my duty and responsibility to fix this country. That is where it starts. If you have skills in videography, that is you can do video editing, you can write, web design, you can write, web developers, you are needed. Your financial contribution does matter as well. Our estimated budget to lay the groundwork to transform this country is 14 million US dollars. 14 million US dollars to lay the groundwork. To print t-shirts, to raise leaders that will go into communities and sensitize the public. Right? To buy laptops. To provide data for those who don't have internet connection. To plug into the university and take the courses that we have available. To market. Because most of these videos that you see we put out there, we run ads to put out these videos so everyone in the country can be informed about what is going on. All of this, we need money. We need money to pay those who are serving right here at CSDB. We have a newspaper company we've launched, the Cameroon Times so that we can provide accurate information based on a perspective that is uplifting to the nation. And there are individuals right here, change makers who are serving right here. We've also launched a digital marketing company because whatever we will produce through this initiative needs to be sold. And there are existing businesses in the country right now that are struggling to acquire customers. There are many individuals with gifts and talents and products that don't know how to market or get customers. And this digital marketing company will help every business owner to be visible so that they can acquire customers who are willing and able to pay for your product. Because you can use influencers, that is good, but that is just branding. That is the first step. Most of the individuals that will get to know about you through influencers might not be willing or able to pay for your product. That is where marketing comes in. With marketing, you are targeting the individuals who are able, that is able, financially able, willing, that is they are ready to engage with you in that transaction. That is the difference. So, it is up to you. And this is time for you to just sit back in this 20 minutes video that I decided to make for you to stand up and start doing the things that you know in your heart that you need to do to change your country and change your condition. No one is coming to save us. We are the people that we have been waiting for. And change starts when you develop that consciousness of citizenship. Remain blessed. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, click right here. If you want to watch the entire video, click right here.